Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's Needing Art. Today I'm gonna try something a little different from the MMA and boxing side of things, and we're gonna go with a recreating an official WWE poster, and this one is gonna be Battleground, Rollins versus Lesnar. So, this one is at 1000 by 1370 pixels. So, 1000. 1370 change our resolution to 300 uh, obviously you want to go to file and click new to do that make sure you have a transparent background and let's go down here get solid color change that to black and then let's open up our renders so we got Lesnar Rollins the battleground logo and the WWE Network logo and then from here we're gonna just wanna start placing things on our canvas so first let's start with Lesnar and he's way too big so I'm gonna convert him to a smart object and uh, go over here to edit and free transform now you can click control T to do that or you can go over there uh, if you're new you're probably gonna be going to edit and free transform so then we're just gonna click this arrow right here and drag it to size uh, that looks about right right there move him to the center we actually might need to make him just a tad bit smaller that should be good should be good enough then let's bring Rollins into the mix now he's a little bit small so we're gonna right click convert to smart object and then go to edit free transform or control T and we're gonna drag here to make him bigger and that looks about right uh, he might actually be a little bit smaller but that should do for now he's actually uh, behind Lesnar in the official poster so we're gonna drag him down there and I'm gonna make him just a tad bit smaller so remember free transform and then to drag that out that should be about right right there and then the main piece of this poster, and I love these types of posters because it makes, uh, it's simple, but it, it stands out. And here we got the text behind Lesnar and Rollins, and then we got the text that's kind of above them. So let's start with the text. Um, I believe the font they used is Compacta. It's a very popular sports font. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and type in Lesnar and for size that's probably around like 300 size is probably around 300 so oops <laughs> no I want that to say Lesnar not 300 all right let's go over here let's type in 300 make sure your text is highlighted when you're doing this and you're not an idiot like me I'm trying to make this tutorial quick uh, it needs to be a little bigger than that so let's try like 350 Should be good okay let's go ahead and place that here for now it's kind of underneath his arm and underneath Lesnar's um, glove a little bit right there and then we can just duplicate this text by hitting control J and drag it up top and then let's go ahead and type Rollins the kerning on this looks it to be a little bit less than the uh, Lesnar kerning which was at 25 so we're gonna go over here and drop that to 10 uh, also I think the text is a little bit too big that looks about right and I'm gonna drag this behind the renders and I'm gonna go ahead and change the names so Rollins or name them so we know Rollins and Lesnar now I'm gonna start working, start editing the, the pictures of the, the wrestlers. I was gonna call them fighters, only one of them's a fighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate Rollins. I'm gonna go to image, adjustments, hue saturation, and I'm gonna turn that down to 100. Then I'm just gonna change the blending mode to soft light. Now Lesnar, I'm gonna add a few adjustments to him because this this render is not the best you can see he kind of looks a little bit messed up so we're gonna try to fix him up as best we can so 
I'm gonna go ahead and negative saturation 40. I'm gonna do clear or contrast 15, highlights negative 20, shadows 18, uh, texture he probably needs about 20. I always usually do texture and clarity around the same, so 20 there. That looks to be good. And then I'm gonna duplicate Lesnar, Control J. Remember, change the blend mode to soft light. Then I'm gonna go to image adjustments, hue saturation, and I'm gonna turn that all the way down. It's not looking 100% like I want it to look, so let me go to let me go to my original Lesnar, not the duplicate, and maybe turn the hue up to like plus 10. And I'm actually gonna try to change this blend mode to overlay and then try to do a filter Gaussian blur. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and I like the way that looks, but I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Yeah, okay, so I like that. I might do the same thing with Rollins. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Gaussian blur He might need a little bit more and Then I'm gonna lower the opacity just a little bit And then with that I'm gonna raise the contrast And I might need to desaturate this Rollins a little bit good enough for me now I'm gonna add our renders to a group so I'm gonna click Rollins and then I'm gonna click the lens Lesnar copy I'm gonna click control G that's gonna put them into a group and I'm gonna click or I'm gonna name that to wrestlers so we know that those are the wrestlers obviously um, and then I'm gonna click right here and create a layer mask and grab my brush tool and remember black hides white reveals so first I'm just gonna make sure my opacity is at a hundred and my flow is at a hundred just gonna get a big brush size and I'm gonna start getting rid of this stuff at the bottom down here it's unnecessary and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint over I'm gonna change my opacity to like 25 and my flow to like 50 and I'm gonna paint inside these letters here so like so just start painting because you don't want it to be like it's not completely hidden in the original but it's pretty it's pretty far gone, so I'm just gonna start painting until it starts to fade away. You can kind of see his Rollins' belt a little bit. You can kind of see his shirt a little bit. But aside from that, you can't see much. So, And I don't have the exact Rollins picture or the exact Lesnar picture. I'm just trying to make it look as close as possible so uh, next what we want to do is we want to uh, I'm gonna move Lesnar a little bit so I think he's a bit too big And then I'm gonna move Rollins a bit. Just trying to get this to look as close to the official one as possible. And then I'm gonna move this, all this down a little bit. So I'm gonna select Rollins and select Lesnar and shift. And then just drag that down a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna click on this Rollins text and I'm going to create a layer mask and I'm going to zoom in with my zoom tool not zoom out and I'm going to select my brush tool and I'm going to start painting around uh, Rollins' head so it starts to make create a little shadow and I'm going to change my opacity to like 50 so you get this like shadow effect it's not a drop shadow um, but it kind of creates a little shadow and there's other ways you can do this but this is how I'm going to do it I'm gonna do the same thing with Lesnar.
Now I'm gonna go down to the Lesnar text or up to the Lesnar text and I'm gonna create a layer mask by clicking here. And this time I'm gonna use the pen tool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower the opacity all the way to zero. Well, I'm gonna keep it at like 10. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna grab my pen tool and I'm gonna start creating a path. And this doesn't have to be 100% because I'm trying to make this tutorial as quick as possible. So I'm gonna follow along his arm here and just like so. And like I said, this doesn't have to be 100% because I'm just sh giving you the general idea of what we're doing here. I'm gonna make sure I I'm all the way past all this, come back down here, then I'm gonna click fill path and I'm gonna make sure the settings are like this contact black mode normal, opacity 100. Then I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna cl uh, click delete path and I'm gonna bring that opacity up to 100%. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my brush tool and I'm gonna change the opacity to like 20 and I'm gonna start painting up here to create that shadow and then I'm gonna go down to the wrestlers and I'm gonna do the same thing so it creates this like shadow effect and like I said it doesn't have to be a hundred percent this is just for the tutorial to get this little drop shadow it's not a drop shadow I don't know why I keep saying that but and then we're gonna keep doing this to create the little shadow it's good enough for me now I need to go back to my pen tool back to Lesnar and drop the opacity down to like I said like 10% grab my pen tool come over here kind of round that out a bit just keep just keep creating this path if you're making this for a customer you're gonna make sure it's like a hundred percent but like the, for the sake of a tutorial uh, I'm not gonna do that unfortunately Hopefully that's okay with you guys. You guys can probably hear my pug snoring. That's a day in the life of a pug, you know? Alright, let's go back to our beginning and click fill path with black, delete path, and then let's bring our opacity up to 100%. And then let's do what we did before. Start painting our shadow with our brush tool. And then let's go to the wrestlers and do the same thing. back up here let's make our brush size a little bit smaller and that's cool enough for me for now and then we need to I think we're, we need to add the versus text um, and the versus text I believe is way smaller so let's type in versus period and that's like gonna be like half the size actually 150 isn't half the size but whatever and that looks to have some sort of drop shadow on it so I'm gonna go to right click blending options drop shadow move it over here so I can see my settings I want my angle to be 90 I don't want my distance to be that far at all uh, my size Actually, you know what? That might be an inner glow or an outer glow. So I'm going to do FX, show all effects, outer glow, normal, not dissolve, normal, change this down to black, and that looks way better. Those are my settings. Okay, now I think we're basically done with the poster. So I'm going to add that background logo, move that down below the Lesnar text, and it's, it's not exactly the same color as our text, so a way to do that would be I can use my rectangular marquee tool and I can cut out this WWE logo, right click, layer cut, and then I can right click here and click blending options and go to color overlay and then I go to my color overlay 
and I make sure my blend mode is normal. I click this color, I bring my eyedrop tool, and I select that. So now it's matching our text above. Now I want to start typing out my uh, Sunday text. So Sunday, July 19, AE, 5P. Now to make this smaller, I'm going to go to edit, free transform. If I wasn't doing a tutorial, I'd be clicking control T. So I want to make that a lot, a lot smaller. And this, most of this text is a gray text. So let's go here, change our color to gray. That's pretty close. That's close enough right there. Now I want to grab my T tool and I want to select July 19 and I want to change that to white. And now what I want to do is type, I'm going to lower my text to like 48, make sure my color is that gray again, live on pay per view. And now what I want to do is make this text way smaller. So edit free transform and just make that way smaller. Bring that underneath the live on Sunday. And then let's go get our WWE Network logo. Drag that here. Edit free transform. Make that way smaller. Bring that up there so it matches, lines up with everything. And then that maybe is a little bit too high. And let's move everything a little bit closer. And let's zoom out. And it looks like they have like their copyright stuff at the bottom. I don't know exactly what it says, but I do see uh, in gray I believe hashtag WWE battleground um, it's almost unreadable so I think you could probably change that to like 14 and then the spread the kerning to like 200 or 150 and then it's kind of just in the middle of nowhere and just like that I mean that that's pretty much exactly what they did I mean the, the renders their fighters their wrestlers look a little bit different but I'm just showing you how you could recreate a poster like that is it's not tough uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this leave me something in the comments to let me know what type of content you want to see next if you enjoyed this yeah just let me know uh, make sure to spread this video like and subscribe and thanks for tuning in peace